this is your host, Bruce Ward. <laughs> Inviting you to the story of a record part two, in which we will show you the DJs that spin the sounds itself. And here to present the top tunes of the world from the sales charts of the world is your hit parade compare, Ted Thorpe. Well, we've certainly heard that jingle a few times, and here's the man himself at the microphone, Ted Thorpe. Hey, is this the Empire State Building? Oh no, it's Broadcasting House in Bowen Street, Wellington. So let's go inside and meet TV and radio personality Stuart McPherson. <laughs> Hi Bruce and welcome to the Top Gear segment of the Stuart McPherson Show. From 10 right through to midnight every Saturday night, TSMS swings for you the hottest new sounds around. Spinning on the turntable right now for Pie Records, it's the latest from the Kinks. Control room and on panel tonight, it's fabulous Frank Ledger. to gather round. It's a great night for listening to Pop Records, so settle back and uh, listen to some at the top, some on the way up, and some on the way down. You'll be hearing Cliff Richards, Sandy Shaw, The Seekers, The Yardbirds, The Supremes, and The Animals singing. It's my life and I do what I want. Hey, yes, you've heard that voice before, and here's the man behind it, Neville Chamberlain. <laughs> Yes, I guess each and every one of you have at some time handled an LP record. But have you ever wondered how the covers are manufactured? This press is printing the back and front of the cover, which at the moment is just a piece of cardboard 28 and a half by 12 and a half inches. This is a type of cellophane paper called acetate coated with glue heated and stuck hard and fast to the printed cardboard. This intriguing machine then trims the cardboard to the desired shape. The finishing machine simply folds and glues the flaps, and after going under several rollers to make sure it sticks, we end up with the cover your record is in when you buy it. We have with us one of the great men of our time, a living legend. You're on. A platter spree. What a guy. Called Swing and D. Hey, yes, you'll remember the Hi-Fi days, and do you remember these famous words? This is your Hi-Fi DJ, Des Britton, saying bye-bye for now, now, and I'll see you around. Like a record? So here we are looking at records in a shop window. At least now you know that when you buy that next LP, a lot of work and a lot of people have all contributed their little bit to giving you happiness and laughter from a slice of vinyl known worldwide as a gramophone record. We would like to thank the disc jockeys featured in this film for their time 
and assistance, for without it, this production could not have been filmed. Stanley? Yeah, Billy? Has he gone? Yeah. I thought he'd never leave, like. Didn't we all? <laughs>